joining us this afternoon for this press conference. My name is Jonathan Bravo. I am the marketing manager for the Fresno Grizzlies or sometimes the Fresno Tacos. So all of you should already know why we called you here today. There was a survey that was released earlier this week that listed Fresno as the 53rd best city, not in the United States, in California to get tacos. And that is unacceptable. We know as residents of Fresno and residents of the Central Valley that Fresno and the Central Valley is the best place to get tacos. Not only that, but the survey listed Santa Barbara as number one. We knew that we had to call a press conference to address these claims. Now, not only is Fresno the taco capital of California, we are the taco capital of the world. We have claimed that year and year again we host the largest taco truck festival in the United States, and we are proud to call Fresno the taco capital of the world. It is now my pleasure to call up someone who is a resident expert in taco trucks and all food trucks as a whole, Mike Oz. All right, I'm gonna start with a personal anecdote if I may. Uh, as many of you may know, I'm not from here. I'm from the Bay Area, I moved to Fresno, and it took me all of maybe a month before I realized there was something very special about tacos and taco trucks in Fresno. And, and one thing that I learned very quickly was that we didn't determine who, who made a good taco based on the, the uh, logistics of this survey. It wasn't about Michelin stars, which is what this survey accounts for. It wasn't about Google searches, which is what this survey accounts for. Plain and simply, it was about the people that you knew would tell you, hey, you gotta go check out this place. You gotta go check out that place. And before we knew it, it was the people in Sanger being like, ah, oh, we got better tacos than Fresno. And the people in Selma saying, we got better tacos than Reedley. And along the way, 10 years ago, that's how Taco Truck Throwdown was born. We brought all these taco places into the stadium here and said, hey, let's, let's find out who is the best. And I think in those 10 years, we have proven that Fresno is a special place for taco trucks and not just Fresno, this entire Central Valley, the entire 559 area code. And the taco truck throwdown movement, I think has shown us that we have an immense pride locally um, in our taco trucks and in our taco vendors, in the families behind them and the generations of recipes that they pass forward. Um, and beyond that, you know, I came along the, the Fresno taco hat, which you know, everybody in Fresno knows the Fresno Taco Hat, but not only that, like I've been in cities around this country with people wearing Fresno Taco Hats. Uh, Fresno Taco Hats have been sold in every state in this country, uh, various countries around the world. Fresno is, in that case, synonymous with tacos. Uh, we even own the Fresno Taco Emoji, as or the, the Taco Emoji, like Fresno, the Fresno Tacos and Taco Jack Throwdown own that. So. I think in Fresno, we are particularly passionate about our taco trucks, which is why something like this that, that is obviously false, you know, brings up these type of feelings for us. So we need to make it clear, we need to tell the world that we are in fact the, the taco capital and remind people, Taco Truck Throwdown, October 23rd, you're gonna see what Fresno has to offer. And for a little more of that, I'm gonna bring up my man, my partner, Ray Ortiz. Thank you, my guys. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Parker T. Bear right here. My... I don't know what's going on here. My microphone loves me. Oh, where... Turn, just turn, turn the. Yeah, there you go. I don't know what's going on. Maybe, maybe it's the taco aliens. The taco aliens. Turn, turn it up. Then. Turn it up. Turn it up. There you go. There we go. Parker, you you sh you show up and things start falling apart, buddy. I don't know what's going on here. Anyways. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for being here. And like Mike was saying, uh, talking a little bit about the uh, the culture and the history and the families of Taco Truck, not only Taco Truck Throwdown, but the tacos here in the Central Valley. Um, it goes back and rooted in generations and generations, second, third, fourth generation. Um, and it's not, again, like Mike said, about finding the Michelin stars, but really finding the story behind the, the families uh, of these taco trucks, the taco trailers, I um, mean, all the taco spots here in the Central Valley, uh, Mike Oz, uh, Sam Hansen, and I have done the work, we've done the research, and it's about bringing those people and those businesses, which are local, family-owned businesses, 
into the spotlight. We have trucks that are all over this great Central Valley, all the way from Porterville, all the way up to Madera, Merced, uh, Atwater area, and all of them have come at one point or another in the past 10 years and competed against Taco Truck Throwdown. And that's really what it's about, bringing that whole family vibe and the understanding of where these tacos come from. If you look behind me, uh, with Tacos Mazatlan, Mazatlan is uh, one of the coastal uh, states in Mexico. So of course, if you want seafood and you want the best taco, you're gonna go to Mazatlan. Tacos Pinto has a different variety of food uh, that's back here, which Taco Pinto is actually the defending Taco Truck Throwdown uh, uh, a winner as well. They won in their first year of existence. They existed three months and they competed and they came out number one after only being open three months in, uh, in existence. So uh, the, the history of the, of, the, of the families of the taco trucks is what we want to bring to the spotlight and it's what we bring to the spotlight each and every time we're here at Taco Truck Throwdown. Uh, again, October 23rd. It's going to be unlike any other taco showdown uh, that we've ever had. Uh, my buddy Parker's going to be here. We're going to be here. We hope you'll be here as well too. Uh, but again, bringing the light to the story of the food trucks and the families and the generations. We call ourselves the taco capital of the world because this Central Valley has every representative from almost every state that is Mexico. Um, and they all come here. They all came here. So if you want carnitas, come with me. I'll take you to the best carnitas in, in the land. If you want some carne asada, it's right behind you, um, in my opinion. Um, but everyone has their own their own style of, of, of tacos and their own history of tacos, and all of that is represented here. So when people challenge us in the fact that, A, we, we're not number one and we're 53, or uh, we're the taco capital of the world, we stand behind it. We stand behind it uh, because we believe that, that, it, that it is true. So um, without uh, any more said or without any more um, from me, I'm going to now introduce uh, one of uh, my buddies, uh, one of my great friends, um, and we're so fired up about this about this rating that I think he's going to do something outrageous, and that's why we've all gathered you here, gathered y'all here today. Um, so, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the president of the Fresno Grizzly slash Tacos on Tuesdays, put your hands together for Mr. Derek Franks. Thank you for all being here today. And I want to thank Mike and Ray for eloquently setting the stage for what's about to happen here. But I have to tell you, I'm, I'm coming with some energy today because quite frankly, the gauntlet was thrown down. And this 53 on the front of this podium is nowhere near reflective of what this community stands for. And it's not how we were named the taco capital of the world. So I'm here today to first and foremost, I want to address the, the folks at a little jabroni website called lawnstarter.com. I would recommend, brother, that you guys stick to fertilizer and seed and let us deal with what we know best, which is tacos. Right. Now you got it all wrong here. Not only are we not in our rightful place at number 53, that's a joke. But, and I'm sorry to do this, Santa Barbara. You didn't do this to yourself. You didn't put yourself in this fight. Lawn Starter did that to you. But what's done is done. And we're coming after you now. And actually, we're not coming after you. We're already here. We've got the biggest taco festival in California, in the world. And we're calling you out, Santa Barbara. So send your best. Figure out who, who is the rightful competitor and we will pay their entry and open a spot right here at Chachansi Park and give them a chance to go up against the greatest in the world, right here at Chachansi Park. And so it's going down, Santa Barbara. And again, I'm sorry you got dragged into this, but nobody gets to take the, the claim of number one without having the tacos slash grizzlies put them in their place. Right. So everybody here knows that if you want to be the best, you got to beat the best. You got to beat the best. Woo! Come on down, Santa Barbara. Let's bring it. And everybody here will see you October 23rd for the greatest taco festival in the world. And it's not because of us. It's because of our friends here and many others. Tacos and taco trucks existed long before the Grizzlies. And the great traditions uh, that we get to uphold here is only because of this community. 
and only because we have a platform here to put the talent and the hard work and the dedication of these family owned uh, trucks out here uh, on a great platform that is Chichancy Park, thanks to Grizzlies Baseball and thanks to uh, this wonderful place. And so bring it, Santa Barbara. We're here, we're ready for you. And uh, this 53 is gone. We're gonna ball it up, put it in a rocket, send it to the moon because this doesn't exist. Thank you all. We will see you on October 23rd. Thank you for coming out and letting us throw down the gauntlet here. And we will be awaiting a response, a formal response, from the fine folks of Santa Barbara about the throwdown. Thank you. for coming like Derek said taco truck throwdown is right here at Chichancy Park October 23rd we're very excited that we are going on sale with VIP packages today um, we're opening up VIP packages they're normally going to be $99 today for 48 hours they're only going to be $75 they include a ticket 10 tacos five drink vouchers and an exclusive taco truck throwdown t-shirt don't want to miss that taco truck or tacosbaseball.com to get all of those. And I do have one more thing before we want to break off our individual interviews. Now, as a thank you to everyone for being here today, we wanted to offer you a little sneak peek at something that's coming in 2022. And we just got this in a couple weeks ago and we know everyone's going to be really excited. For the first time ever, we are going to show off our 2022 Fresno Tacos look. 